can count on. Channel 3 Eyewitness News at noon. We are tracking storm damage across the area. Severe weather moved through this morning, leaving multiple trees down across the area. One home off of Roberts Mill Road was damaged after a tree came crashing through the house. So far, we have not received any reports of injuries. Thank you for watching Eyewitness News at noon. I'm Latrice Curry. We have crews monitoring the damage across the area. We're going to have live team coverage. We'll get to those updates in just a moment. But first, will we see more storms this afternoon? Meteorologist Brittany Beggs in the Storm Alert Center with your forecast. And Brittany, I know you were saying it has been a busy morning so far. What's ahead for the afternoon? Yeah, we're under another marginal risk today. I do want to show you, though, all the storm damage reports. Each little dot that you see there represents storm damage. So there's a lot of them. You'll notice even out of Dade County, there was thunderstorm uh, wind damage there. Most of the damage that we have seen has been out of northern Hamilton County. Just had a report near a mobile home uh, near the uh, Middle Valley area. That has been damaged. Lots of storms this morning, even had some frequent lightning. Thanks to David Carnes for capturing this. And Caitlin Wright sent this photo into us this morning, too. Now, unfortunately, we've got another round to get to today. For our western half, we're starting to see those clouds break, which means there's going to be more instability today. So if you live in the dark green area, that includes Includes Fort Payne, Chattanooga, Athens, Murphy, Dalton, and eastward. We're under the marginal risk, and my timing is between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. And again, those threats lightning, heavy rain, and damaging wind gusts. I'll talk more about that and the rainfall we have seen just this month coming up in just a few minutes. Latrice? All righty, thank you so much, Brittany. Well, a very scary incident. The good news, no one was hurt as we talk about that. And a Hamilton County family says they are very fortunate at this time to be alive after a tree came crashing down on their home. Channel 3's Caroline Corrigan has the very latest for She joins us live. And Caroline, the big question now is how's the cleanup process going? Well, good afternoon. I'm here on scene, and as you can see, crews are working to remove this tree right now. If you can see, they've made quite a bit of progress compared to this morning. Now, when we first arrived on scene, no one was on scene, so we decided to call 911 ourselves. I spoke to the family at the time of this uh, tree coming down on their home. Nine people were actually inside at the home during the time. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Now, I spoke to the homeowner. She says she was actually on her back porch when this massive tree came crashing down. We're in the storm coming through. The wind got up and the tree came across my house. A very scary incident. The good news is that no one was hurt. However, I am told this home is a complete loss. American Red Cross is helping them out. However, this is a very scary incident and really shows just how wet these this ground is due to all this rain. Um, we're going to head over to meteorologist Brittany Beggs for more. Yeah, over the last 24 hours, most of the rainfall has been occurred north of Chattanooga, but we have seen here locally about three tenths of an inch of rainfall over the last 24 hours. Caroline also mentioned the ground is so saturated. That is because of the rainfall that we have actually seen the entire month. Over the last three weeks, we have seen four inches of rain. Usually by today's date, we get about two and a half inches of rainfall for June 20th. Uh, so for the year, we are 13 inches of rainfall above normal. Now check this out. As we head into tonight and into tomorrow, we're looking about another quarter of an inch of rainfall. I think further east you are, you're going to see locally some higher mountains, maybe about a half an inch of rainfall. Uh, so that includes McMinn County, Monroe County, uh, Cherokee County. This is just one forecast model. I'm going to show you a different model. I'll break that down hour by hour coming up in my full forecast. Latrice. Right, thank you, Brittany. This is video from Harrison. A tree snapped along Highway 58 near Dolly Pond Road. This scene was repeated in many other areas throughout the Tennessee Valley this morning. A homeowner in Hickson on August Drive said this tree blocked him from leaving his driveway this morning. During the stretch of severe storms, there were at least five reported trees down in Hamilton County. However, one homeowner said crews were able to respond quickly. If you have damage in your area and can safely take a picture, share it with us on our Facebook page. 
All right, take a look at this outage map. EPB crews are working as quickly as possible to repair storm damage and restore service to about 700 customers. In total, this morning's storm impacted about 2,500 customers. Service was maintained for more than 98% of EPB customers. In the next half hour, we'll talk to employees at a tree service company, and they are going to tell us the significance of having a tree professionally cut versus when it snaps because of a storm. And to make sure you're prepared for the next round of storms, download the WRCB weather app. You can track the radar and stay up to date on your daily forecast, all while using your phone. Well, crews in Harrison were busy. Not only did they have to deal with trees down, but they also had to battle flames. Multiple crews were called to a trailer fire on Highway 58 around 4.15 this morning. No one was inside the trailer. A cause has not been determined at this time. In other developing news, a multiple agencies are now on the hunt for Jackie Wayne Bean. He's wanted by the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office for aggravated sexual battery and false imprisonment of a minor. Dunlap Police made a post on Facebook saying he is believed to be in the Sequatchie County area. If you know where Bean may be right now, call the number. It's there on your screen. The mayor of South Pittsburgh shocked the city by announcing his resignation yesterday. Virgil Holder sent a letter to the city commission and the residents of South Pittsburgh. In that letter, he blames the city manager, Gene Vest, and a few commissioners for, quote, the demise of their great city. Holder claims they thwarted his attempts to improve South Pittsburgh. He also claims Vest has been holding secret meetings without him for nearly two years. The vice mayor, Samantha Rector, will fill Holder's seat for now until a new mayor is elected. Carta wants to freshen up its image, and they hope that you can help them do that. The transportation agency is asking for public input on its redesign today. They currently have four concepts to choose from. Those concepts lay out things like where routes go and how often their buses run. Carta spent a year putting these plans together. You can tell them which concept you like at the Chattanooga Public Library downtown. The meeting starts this evening at 5.30. Heads up for Marion County drivers, TDOT will close all lanes of Highway 41 starting Monday morning. The highway is already down to just one lane due to a slope stabilization project. The closure will begin at 6 a.m. Monday. The contractor hopes to have one lane reopen before the 4th of July holiday. Still to come here on Eyewitness News at noon. Well, if someone missed an appointment with you on Tuesday, they may have had a good excuse. I'm Jamie Ducker coming up. What happens when Google Calendar crashes? Closed captioning is brought to you by Gary Massey and Associates. You gotta get Gary. Do you have something that you just